That's right, welcome back to Happy Beef, the number one beef jerky review show in America. Uh, of course, I'm your host, Daryl Foxtrot. With me today is our very special guest, Rodney. Hi, Rodney. Hey, Daryl. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing wonderful myself. Absolutely, yes. Uh, Rodney, you, you have a very interesting role here at, uh, at Calvary. I feel like you should share it with everybody. What, what is it that you do? I do, yes. I'm our director for the 7th and 8th ministry, so that's right. Any of you 6th graders out there who will be 7th graders next year, you get to look forward to this guy next year. That seems like something really worth looking forward to. I'm, I'm, that's exciting. Where's my 6th uh, graders at? Cheer. I can't hear you. This is a video. I do have good word from the current 7th graders, though, that 7th and 8th is way better than what you guys have to deal with down here. You're not in the basement. We got windows. We have beef jerky reviews. But before we get to the beef jerky review, we got to start out with a few announcements. Uh, the first announcement, of course, is stay fresh, friendly, responsible, encouraging, selfless, helpful. Them's the rules. Do it. Next week. Next week is, uh, is Holy Week. Hmm. It's Easter week. Uh, so we're not going to be meeting here. Well, I hope beef jerky is a part of that Easter celebration. Yeah, you should definitely have some jerky for Easter or around Easter. We don't do like an Easter egg hunt. We do a beef stick hunt. A beef stick hunt. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love that for you. So you really know your stuff then. I know my stuff. I know my beef jerky. He knows That's stuff. True. So now we got to jump into, of course, the one, the only, the bag of beef. That's the bag? There's tape. There's and staples. A, lots of tape. I need some more, actually. I'm and excited for what's inside that bag. I can give you a hint. Beef. And we'll show you what the beef is after a word from our sponsor. Take it away, sponsor. I'm king of the world. Just kidding, I'm king of photo scavenger hunt night. It's a family event. Your family will be paired up with other families, challenged to take the best photos all around the building. So make sure your family signs up to come to the photo scavenger hunt April 14th, 6 to 8 p.m. Be there or be not there. Wow, that was a fantastic word from our sponsor. It's time for the beef reveal. Today's beef jerky is Nix Sticks! Oh, oh man. Nix Sticks! 100% grass fed beef. Paprika. Oh, I do like some paprika. Have you ever. Like just one? straight paprika? It says this just paprika. Right, but have you ever tried just straight paprika? Uh. I don't think I can disclose that information. Although I do like the paprika, the character on Blue Spoos. Alright, let's open it up. Here we go. Now, here's the nice thing there's two pieces of beefs is in here. But one, oh, oh man, one. I think you're gonna have to. Oh, there we go. go. Oof. One piece of beefs. Everybody knows the rules. Oh, they are. It's like stuck in there. What one in the world? pieces of beef. One pieces of beefs. Is. Let's see how Nick sticks are. Wait, you got it. it. Smells great. It smells very good. Okay, so we're just supposed to put the whole thing in. All right. You know? Did you just put the whole? I find that this is. This is the best way to get that flavor explosion. You can tell it's 100% grass fed. Mm -hmm. You get some of those that are like 50%. Yeah, you can taste the grass. The connoisseur of beef that I am. Yes. 7.1. Ooh. As we all know, decimals up for professionals. It rhymes. Yeah, so my gut reaction, very close to yours, was a 7.4. Any last words? Well, thank you, first of all, for allowing me to be on the, on the show with you, Daryl. Uh, it's been a blast. It's been something I've been looking forward to ever since I heard you were around and doing these videos. I am sneaky. Waiting for my opportunity and my chance, and it did not disappoint. So thank you. That was so sweet. But Sammy always talked highly of you, and uh, this is the time that we've had together has just really proven him accurate. Sammy talks good about me! You can kind of almost like smell him being in his studio here, can't you? Yeah, it smells like Slim Jims. Just like Sammy. It's 
It's probably because I fed him a lot of those when uh, he was locked in that closet. You know, the past is in the past, as uh, Elsa says. Let it go. Speaking of letting things go. Can let me go? I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. We'll see you guys next time here on uh, Happy Days.